All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Sorry about the text in the background. Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1,139. If you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below me right here. Uh, did you guys hit that yet? Hit it. The red subscribe button. Do it right now if you haven't yet. And turn on the little notification bell to the right and set it to all, A-L-L, -L, so you don't miss any of these updates in the future. And of course, of course, aha, make sure you hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can get 150 likes. Comment 111 if you did, 222 if you didn't, and let's jump into this, guys. All right. <clears throat> so... The other day I was talking about the Grubhub uh, tips not being shown and stuff. And a lot of people have been talking about this. I have some more information for you about this. And Grubhub drivers aren't too happy about this. This is facts first, guys. This is not made up. It's not a lie. It's from official sources. And Budasan, who has been basically a pay-to-drive correspondent for like two years at this point, sent me this. So check this out. Grubhub gig workers react angrily to change in tipping policy. Ah, look at that. Food delivery app reduces default gratuity amount following introduction of new employment rules in California. California-based workers for food delivery app uh, Grubhub have reacted angrily to changes to the platform, which they say discourages tipping, saying they would wipe out the supposed benefits of new gig worker rules in the state. Last month, California passed Proposition 22, which is which, uh, though falling far short of the benefits received by full-time employees, gave gig workers a limited number. Weeks after the ruling, Grubhub reduced its default tip amount from about 20% to zero, adding a suggestion to leave an optional tip on top of the driver's benefits. Optional tip, so they're, they're discouraging it. <clears throat> like other apps, Grubhub added an additional benefit fee, in this case $1.50, to each order in California, though that money is put into a centralized pot for which only a limited number of drivers are expected to fully qualify. The benefits are not nearly high enough to compensate for encouraging no tipping, wrote one Grubhub worker on Reddit. Such BS to drive this wedge between customers and drivers, wrote another. A third added, this is chilling, really disappointing. Under Proposition 22, Workers receive a health care sti uh, stipend, stipend, S-T-I-P-E-N-D, sorry, uh, provided they clock at least an average of 15 hours per week on one of the gig apps. However, in order to qualify, workers must already be the primary policyholder on an existing health care plan. Hmm. To get the full stipend, uh, workers must put in at least 25 hours per week. The companies only count... Uh, engaged time not included periods including periods spent driving without an unassigned job or assigned job estimated to be about a third of all time spent on the road according to a university of california berkeley study no allowances are made for time off or sickness data shared by uber suggested that about three quarters of its own drivers would not meet this threshold okay so that's most of the drivers other benefits include a guaranteed minimum earning rate, accident insurance, and 30 cents per mile for vehicle expenses. The measures have been derided or derided, derided, as <laughs> inadequate by workers groups, but the gig economy, uh, the gig companies maintained that such a model was vital if workers were to maintain their flexible work patterns. But a study by University of California, Santa Cruz in May determined that delivery workers are particularly dependent on tips, which account for 30 percent of their estimated earnings. I would say a hell of a lot more than that. I keep records, said Janine, a Grubhub worker in the San Francisco Bay Area, and there's been a complete flip. It's stunning. She shared with the Financial Times a breakdown of her tips on the platform both before and after the change. On two consecutive Saturdays, she completed the same number of orders, eight. But on the first Saturday before the change, 100% of her customers left at least a small tip, totaling $61.03. On the second Saturday, <clears throat> excuse me, these allergies, five of her eight customers left no tip, with the rest, of the, with the rest totaling $24.71. 
In response to the criticism over the new tip options, a Grubhub spokeswoman said some diners in California may see this at checkout alongside a driver's benefits fee, and diners continue to have the ability to leave a tip for their driver, including through the customer tip feature. Proposition 22 gave workers more stability, the statement added. Uber and DoorDash last week said they would raise prices in order to fund Proposition 22 benefits, though as yet only Grubhub has made changes to its tipping system. In June, it was announced Grubhub would be acquired by European food delivery group Just Eat, Ta- Just Eat Takeaway in a deal worth $7.3 billion. So, <clears throat> There you have it, guys. I, you know, people think I'm crazy when, when I talk about these changes and stuff. You know, the, these companies, it's just, it's constant drama. <clears throat> like, like I told you years ago, it was not like this. But because now the, the gig economy, you know, food delivery and, and uh, ride share is such a part of everyday life. Now, governments are changing, you know, in, uh, not information, but they're changing standards, they're changing benefits, they're changing rules. And who gets, who gets screwed? Us, the drivers. We get screwed. That's what happens here. So, everybody down below, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Obviously, it seems like it's a bad thing. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with this? Do you disagree? Please tell me in the comments or in the chat. And I do want to take this time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive, especially Millard Norton, our $100 a month ultimate driver. Thank you so much. And of course, Kimberly Thomas, Tulsa Todd, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Brian Pomeroy, William Boudreaux, Justin Case, Sarah Keston, Alan G. Van Horn, Scott Freisner, Drew Hanor, Katie Coppin, Stephen Neely, Destiny Rudolph, Dave Chin, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Sherry Cassidy, Terry DeLong, Anthony Bliss, Nick G., Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, and Terrence Pacheco. If you guys want to sign up and get shout outs like that, patreon.com slash pay to drive. Links down below in the pinned top comment and in the description. And of course, please make sure you are saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. Comment 333 if you're on there already, 444 if you're not yet. All you have to do is download the free app for your smartphone. Click show more. It's the description down below me. Pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. The link is in the description. Make sure to download it. Seriously. And, uh, of course, check out paytodrivestore.com to get t-shirts and hoodies, official Pay to Drive merchandise, all on sale at uh, paytodrivestore.com. So that's all I got for you on this one, guys. Please hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and turn on all notifications. And of course, let's see if we can get 150 likes. The likes are a little on the low side. One comment, one, 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 if you did, two, 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 if you didn't. And that's it for me, guys. If you made it to the end, comment end five, five, zero, end five, five, zero. Let's see how many people do it. Get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you guys next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs. Stay positive, guys, in this very negative world.